I think that early on, um, the challenge of you know accurate diagnosis is identifying the red flags and triggers because those do exist where you can basically prevent an injured worker from languishing in you know what I call non-operative jail, right? And um, basically triage them to definitive treatment if that's appropriate. Um, so I think that there are certain cases where early diagnostic imaging can actually get people um, back to work or back to their you know baseline clinical function um, sooner. Um, but an interesting area too is is clinical diag uh, diagnostic studies when things are not going well, right? So after someone has had surgery or after they've had um, an intervention and an epidural steroid injection, et cetera. Um, being willing to do diagnostic testing. I, I would say that for some surgeons um, that I've seen, they can shy away from getting an MRI, for example, on a patient that they've operated on because it can potentially um, show that maybe the surgery didn't go well. And you know that is, to a certain degree, human nature and being protective. And I, I think that that's where having an impartial third party, whether it's an IME or an expert medical opinion, makes a lot of sense because you are not, you don't have the built-in inherent biases of, you know, following the same patient longitudinally um, and sort of having your blinders on. 